Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going over what to watch for an election night, and today I'm doing the state of Oregon. Uh, Oregon's an interesting state because it is a democratic state. It closes its polls at 11 p.m. It's part of the states that go heavily for the Democrats, but in 2016, however, it wasn't too big of a win for Hillary Clinton. She only won it by about 11%, which is smaller than previous margins, and the governor's race in 2018, I believe it was, was actually closer than a lot of people uh, predicted. And Oregon is a state that does vote Democrat, but is a potential future target for Republicans that as the electoral map changes, kind of how Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania were targets, that Democrats would be going after Arizona and um, Georgia, Texas. Republicans would go after the Rust Belt. Oregon's another one of those states Republicans could be eyeing because look at the state. There's a lot of Republican red throughout this state. It's just the problem is you go up to Portland, 292,000. Then you go to Salem where Republicans win here, but there's still a decent amount of votes. Then Eugene's got a lot of votes. So these like two or three-ish cities make up a lot of the Democratic vote. However... When you look at when you go county by county, this is a pretty competitive state. If President Trump could perform well in Portland, Pre Portland won Hillary Clinton seventy three seventeen. If Biden is like sixty five or something and he's not doing good in Portland, and President Trump's overperforming, this state could be like a three or four percent margin of victory. So, what I take away from Oregon is President Trump will not win Oregon. This is not me saying he will. He's not even gonna. He's not gonna win Oregon. But look at 2016, 50.1%. Hillary Clinton did what was, like, mandated to win the state, get 0.1% more than she needed to win. If pre And that's a lot of undecided vote. If President Trump could break into that undecided vote threshold, he could lose this state by, like, 3 or 4% and potentially set up this state for competitiveness for Republicans in the future. How would he do that? Well, it's about turning up the vote in all these red suburban rural counties like many other states. President Trump needs to do well. And this is definitely an excuse for me to say a really bad word probably on camera, so I'm not going to say it. But I'm going to call it D-County. Um, I see D-E-S-H or D-E-S-C-H. That just sounds like something that's going to get me like banned off YouTube or something. So I'm not going to say that. Jackson County. And Medford, President Trump can win these red areas, and then if he could win Eugene County, or he's not going to win it, but if he could cut into some of the rural-ish areas and cut down the vote here, maybe break 45%, President Trump could be very competitive because he's probably going to win Salem again if he can stay competitive. Could President Trump maybe cut into the surrounding Portland areas and maybe cut into these votes a little bit when Clackamas County or Clackamas County? Maybe President Trump could make Oregon competitive. I don't think President Trump will win it, but if Oregon's closer this time around, it could be indications of a trend that maybe Oregon's a lot closer than we thought. And come 2024, it might be a state we have to keep an eye on. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.